I've seen guys that, you know, probably their whole lives growing up, they were the best players on their team, and they come here and they don't make it out of training camp. Uh, and it's kind of eye-opening when you think about that and when you think about what, what everybody goes through and the sacrifices that they make all the way along the way. Um, you know, the cold, hard reality is that it can come screeching to a halt at any instant. What do you do when the game you love doesn't love you back? I think when that starts to cross my mind, it'll be time to step away and figure out a different career path. That's the end of the road. I guess you don't really love what you're doing anymore when you're starting to have those thoughts. For minor league athletes, the uphill climb to make it into the NHL, MLB, or NBA can take a toll on their spirit. I'm sure they wrestle with, you know, all kinds of things internally, you know, am I good enough? I, I thought I was good enough. This guy, I played against this guy in college. I was better than him. He's getting his chance. Uh, I'm sure that, I'm sure they go over that internally all the time. Condors defenseman Brendan Nash started in the NHL with the Montreal Canadiens five years ago, but injuries stunted his progress, and this season he found himself in the ECHL, two levels below where he started. So for a guy like that, this, this is a different opportunity for him. It's an opportunity to prove that he doesn't belong in this league. He belongs at the next level. And besides the paycheck, he has some extra motivation to make it back to the NHL. His wife, Carrie, who says she's gotten used to the minor league wife style. But the Nashes are hoping to plant their roots soon, and the hockey life has an expiration date. I think until we probably have a family, like kids, I probably wouldn't want to tote around a kid country to country or place to place. Perseverance has served former Bakersfield Jam guard Jarrell McNeil. The two-time NBA D-League All-Star has been called up to the NBA, signed and traded several times, playing for teams all over the country and overseas. But this season, he was back in Bakersfield, looking to prove he's worthy of an NBA contract. You know, there's no bigger mo uh, motivation. You know, you, everything is first class. Um, all accommodations are first class. You travel first class, uh, you know, and you just, uh, you, you know, you feel like you feel like uh, an NBA type of player. At the same time, you know, you still gotta keep your focus and do the things that, uh, that continue to do the things that got you there and to that point. Minor and D League players can have their career either flourish or fizzle in places like Bakersfield. It's a physically demanding and emotionally draining life, but every opportunity these athletes can suit up, it's another opportunity to get called up and finally play under the bright lights they always dreamed of. You know, for me, if I'm able to get back and, uh, you know, just get somewhere where I can stay and get a chance, a chance to show what I can do at that level, that'll be the first step, and then I think kind of things will take care of themselves after that going forward.